How's it going, guys? This is Ketchup here, doing some more MKX ranked. Uh, oh, sub mirror, nice way to kick it off. I'm only playing Crymancer. Um, in some of my warm-up games, I just actually, I just fought this guy actually in some of my warm-up games, and I, just, I beat him, which is good. Hopefully, I can do it again. <laughs> he just seemed very eager to get clone out, even when he shouldn't have. Basically, he was just getting hit by just meaty strings because he was trying to do clone so much. Um, I'm quick. We'll punish that all day. I am fine with him spending the bar mid screen. Wake up. Oh, I'm wait. Delayed me, but this guy, you see what I mean by this guy? Just he, he absolutely needs the clone. What are you doing? Right, let's hurt. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to try and do wake up Mila slide. I think he did try and do a wake up there, but it didn't work. Let's go. Oh. Uh oh. Right, nice. Somehow I dropped that. <laughs> Don't I? Oh, no. I didn't actually think that was going to work. Oh. Oh, whoa, what? Clone, yep. Yeah. This is kind of his defense, you know, it's just, it's 100%. I, I will take the, I've got the life lead, so I'll just do it. Trip guard. That's going to be game over. Let's just keep it nice and simple. Splat! So my plan for Sub-Zero here is to just keep it really basic. And if I can, go for just... Because Cryomancer hits like a truck when you get a proper hit. Um, it's just catching people without breaker is unlikely. Um, for the most part. But, I mean, he does like, you know, big damage. He's doing minimal, minimal 45% off a, a pure grounded punish. He can get like 45% for a bar, which is really amazing damage. Um, but it's, I mean... I don't know. In my warm-up games, I've been doing it. It's like I've not really been able to land many max damage because people just break. They, they just so happen to always have breaker ready, basically. Um, so I just find myself playing really patient, just waiting for that one opportunity to trip guard or something, and then you know, if I see a, a jump in whiff from just out of range, I'm going to tag it with a trip guarded back two, and the back two is what's going to bag Crymats as such ridiculous damage. So uh, if they're going to do it, and they're going to get hit for big damage, you know. I only have 4% odds to beat this guy. I'm in big trouble. Everyone plays Shinnok, man. Such a popular... I oh, know, actually my first Bone Shaper. I'm genuinely surprised he actually hasn't gone Imposter because he wants the Ice Ball, but I guess he's just going to try and zone me out instead. I'm assuming Downfall is going to be a good tool here, but I don't know. We'll try. He hasn't got a Tricky Pull, so <laughs> I haven't really got to worry apart from Scoop if I get up close. There you go. That's what I want. Is he going to wake up? You know what? We're going to reset it. I think he gave up. I think he gave up there. Yeah, he just he's just gonna let the round go, I think. Doesn't want to let me build any meter because I've lost it all. Just gonna stand out of range of health sparks. Okay, I'm gonna catch that with punish. Ugh. Oh wow! Right in there. Uh oh, I need to do that. We 
Should be good. I think we're good. Mmm. Slide it. Yeah. Nice. Trying to play very careful there. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if that reset in the first round was worth it. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't talking much as well. I'm just... It's late, and I'm trying to... Because I'm really inexperienced with Cryomancer, I'm just trying to concentrate. Um, I'm really just trying to focus on what I'm doing. Um, there's some tools I'm definitely not using still as well, but I don't know whether it's because they're not good or whether I should be using them. Maybe I should be using the Air Hammer now and then. I think they made it safe on block, didn't they? They made it hit twice or something. They did something to Air Hammer to make it better, but I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. Just typing away while we wait for our next opponent. But, yeah, I uh, didn't really get a chance to land any max damage. I tried to play it safe with one back two. Normally, I don't have back, don't have any trouble doing uh, back two, back two, forward four, actually, funnily enough. But in these ranked matches, I'm having a bit of a hard time. Kind of, you know, says a lot about the difference between doing training mode and ranked. You know, even I will practice a BNB over and over again. But the second I do it, I have to do it for the first time in a real match. I'll just drop it because... I just haven't got that muscle memory, you know. I mean, doing it in training is okay because your mind is so mentally prepared to always, 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 like, just do. You're ready to do the combo at all times, so you're unlikely to drop it. But when you're in a real match, the reason you're going to be dropping combos so frequently is because um, you're not used to being having to think about everything else, and then you have to do the combo. You know, that's why muscle memory is important, just getting that nailed into your head that this is how my hands are going to do the combo this is how they're going to move these are the buttons i'm going to press it's like you know the second you have to factor in all these other things it becomes much harder to concentrate on that one thing that you have the luxury of concentrating on in training mode uh, and that's my philosophy of the day let's go back into cryomancer this variation is really fun but it just it feels very basic if you know what i mean just very 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 straightforward does do mass damage but against real people it's i'm not hitting it too frequently i should probably just throw out hammers after everything as well to just catch people pressing buttons i know people do that cry match so i should start i'm gonna try against this guy let's give it a go let's just do everything into hammer let's do it hammer oh damn first guy i fight and he blocks it can't oh, i try to back dash jump Uh oh. Right. That's okay. That's good. That's right. Uh oh. I'm bad. Hammer. That's unsafe. Punish. Ha ha. Yeah, I'm kind of, um, I don't know, getting a bit confused. Round two, fight. Mm. Oh, that's a different string in this variation, isn't it? Oops. Oh no, I thought I was going to catch him. I guess not. Oh, he's going, for, he's going for the basic combo. He's going to arm break, so I'm not going to go for the hammer. That's going to hurt. Let's reset him. Yep, just waiting for that. Nope. Get out of here. Yeah, I think in rank matches, I might actually just um, go for one back two. I feel like two is... It's doable for sure, but I'm just crap, <laughs> so I struggle. I struggle to do them. I just looked at his remaining health and went, well, if I get the two, I might actually either kill him or come very close. So I opted to try and go for two instead. But my ex I mean, I've been playing Cryomancer for like, I mean, like, for no joke, you guys are watching like a half hour old Cryomancer. I did a couple of BMBs in training mode and then went straight into ranked, like... I, I've been playing this character for not even an hour, do you know what I mean? So I kind of feel like I'm overestimating my ability to do two back twos into forward four in the corner. It's not even difficult, but I'm just not very good at doing it, so I'm just going to stick to one, I think. I'll just hit confirm the one by itself. 
Oh, it's a different person with a, exactly the same background. Very strange. Cryomancer! He's, he's very fun though. Like, he's, he's super, super simple, but I'm, have, I'm having a good time with him. I'm having a really good time with him. Ooh. Oh, dude, I can... I Actually, can I hammer his gaps? I, I, I suspect I might be able to hammer his gaps, but I think he might be able to block in time on some of them. But we'll try. If I can hammer the gaps, I'll get massive damage. I'm going to jump back, though, because I think he's going to back one. Yep. Hammer. Go. Let's try not to drop this. Um, okay. Yeah, as you can see, like, damage wise, I don't really need the two. I mean, 43 with just one back two. I'm, I'm content with that, to be honest with you. Uh oh. Really? Hammer! Oh. Ice. Yeah, it's not the first time he's been caught by that, is it? Yep, I did too many! The zoning. Ice ball zoning. It is too much. Hammer! Blah. Unfortunately, it's um, not enough. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of, I, I just guessed right. He, he's, um, he didn't actually enforce a 50-50 after it. He did the um, old school traditional mix-up of just back one four overhead, which I mean, from judging by the people I bump into in ranked, I'm assuming back one four overhead much, must catch people a lot, because if I'm playing sub zero, like you know one two for example, will catch people a lot. Which, actually, funnily enough, I just realised I'm actually not doing very much, am I? I'm not doing 1-2 into Hammer, even though that I should do, because people always get tagged by the 2. 1-2 um, with Quan, 1-2 with Sub-Zero, uh, you know, forward 1-3 with Triborg. These surprise lows that aren't mix-ups, but people always get hit by them, because they just are not blocking correctly. That's all there is to it, really. I'm guessing this guy's going to try and zone me out quite substantially. If he picks Katana, I'm a bit worried. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to try and go for a neutral jump punch off the forward 1-2-2, two, two, because the small hitboxes, it just seems to make it more hard, like more difficult, so I don't think I'm going to do it. Did he go Royal Storm or Assassin? I think he went Assassin, because he's got the mask on. Let's go. Round one, he's down for it. Oh. oh my god. Hammer. Of course! It's ranked. Why wouldn't you always wake up attack? That's what people do in ranked. They just wake up attack all the time. Oh, so much damage. Let's reset it. I actually think he's dead. Oh, that reset was insane. The amount of damage he bags if he gets the overhead, it's crazy good. I'm gonna slide. I don't care. Ow! Oh, I'm so free to that. It's all everyone does as well. I'm really free to it. I need to just wait and be patient, but I'm stubborn. I don't like the idea of people getting free anything on me. Out of there.
splat. See if he can wake up. There you go. So much damage. Splat. He still got me. I jumped back, man. Obnoxious. Obnoxious. Charge. Oh, and he just so happens to jump, man. And of course, you are... Oh, my God, these players in ranked... These ranked match players, jump armor, jump armor, it's all these guys do. Oh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm tilting now. I'm tilting. I'm, I'm being an idiot. I need to just wait the fact that he's going to jump. But I can't anti-air him because he's just going to hover, isn't he? Come on, do it again. Do it again. Oh, generally surprised I didn't try and hover there. He's an x-ray, I think. Uh-oh. Like, literally, that's all I turned it into. That is literally... I slowed it down, and I turned the match into walk back, slide anti-air. Walk back, win. slide anti-air. That, that's all I did. I was trying everything else, and the manner he was playing, just the jumps, the constant mashing of armor, and the hovering after every single jump. Now, because I was that far away, he, was, he wasn't going to hover it. He only hovered... He only hovered when I... Um, was close enough when it was a cross up or when he was trying to go for a clean jump in he would always hover it because he would try and just catch me out which it worked but the second I was jump distance away the second I was jump distance away it, it didn't work out it just didn't work um, and he didn't stop because I feel like that's a real a lot of people in ranked have it's like it's a one way game right where if it doesn't work it doesn't matter they, they don't care. They're just going to do it anyway, you know? And if it doesn't work, and if you punish them, who cares? They, they'll just do it again. And it's a very, very stubborn way of playing. There's no adaptation with a lot of people. But, I mean, I shouldn't have won with just slides. I honestly shouldn't have. I had so much other tools to use, and I didn't need any of them by the end of it. Either way, final match. Let's go, Mr. Stunt Double. Jump. Oh, for... F oh. Ugh. No, that was a slide. Nice. Good luck. Oh, no. He caught me trying to jump. I'm in trouble. Go. Ooh, let's go. Oh, my God, that hitbox, though. Instant NGP, mate. What are you doing? Why do you keep doing that? Splat. Oh, 
I was, I was so random. I was so random. Splat! Now, again, just playing it safe. My, my main goal there was to try and scout a jump. A trip guard it with back two, because back two is a massive source of damage. Um, so that's what I was trying to do, really. Uh, just slow it down. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's extremely basic Cryomancer, what you just saw from me there. Um, there's definitely a lot I wasn't doing, but I was, like I said, it's a very, very new character for me. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It's, it's definitely something completely different. I, I don't play the character at all, so it's been a lot of fun to learn it. I like learning new characters for the purpose of recording. It just means that I won't be able to give you guys as good gameplay as some of my other characters, but I'd rather have variety, you know. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and that's it. Take care now.